So we want to solve this quadratic equation by using the square root method. So our first step is to get this quadratic term by itself, and we're just going to use opposite operations to do that. So we have minus 25 here to get rid of that. We're going to add 25 to both sides. Then I get 9x squared equals 25. And the last step to get the quadratic term by itself is to divide by 9. So now that we have the quadratic term all by its lonesome self, now we can do what this method tells us to do and take the square root of both sides. When you take the square root of a fraction, you take the square root of a numerator, and you take the square root of the denominator. So we have x here. We don't want to forget any time we take the square root, we're going to put a plus or minus sign. So the square root of 25 is 5, and the square root of 9 is 3. So that's plus or minus 5 over 3. What does that mean? Well, it means that x could equal positive 5 over 3, or x could equal negative 5 over 3. Because when you take a square root, we're not sure if what we originally squared was a positive or a negative, so we have to consider both cases.